President Nemec, Bishop Caggiano, members of the Board of Trustees, President Emeritus Jeffrey Von Arks, deans, members of the faculty, administrators, president of the Alumni Association, alumni from the 50th anniversary class, members of the graduating class, honored guest, ladies and gentlemen, both here on the lawn and viewers in our alternative viewing sites, as provost of the university, I would like to welcome you to the 68th commencement exercises of Fairfield University. Please stand for the invocation, which will be offered by the Most Reverend Frank J. Caggiano, Bishop, Diocese of Bridgeport, and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem by members of the University Glee Club under the direction of Dr. Carol Ann Maxwell Conductor, accompanied by Beth Palmer and the Brass Salad Quintet. May I ask you to join me in prayer. Lord God, you who make all things new and never tire of offering us your mercy, we give you thanks on this day of great joy as we seek your blessing upon our graduates assembled here for commencement. Through the power of your Holy Spirit, they have embraced the mission of this university and have grown in your sight. They have opened their minds to the truths of our world. They have discovered and developed their gifts and talents under the care of their professors. And they have been formed in the values that serve as the foundation of this Jesuit university. Now they turn to you for the gift of your blessing. In the years ahead, create them into a people of hope and transformation in our midst. Help them always to know your merciful love as revealed in Jesus, and by their works of charity, may they give hope to our troubled world. We pray that your Holy Spirit, who was abundantly poured out upon the church on this, the Feast of Pentecost, may that spirit continue to inspire encourage, bless, and protect them as they continue their graduate studies or assume their role in the marketplace. May they, may you, my friends, always be a voice for the voiceless, hope for those who are lost, and a force for unity and peace in a divided world. May your years ahead be blessed. Finally, as we celebrate this joyful day, Father, bless their families, strengthen those who lead and teach in this university, and help our students who continue their formation here at Fairfield to grow in wisdom and grace. For we ask this as we ask all things through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Please be seated. The undergraduate student entitled to deliver the valedictory address is chosen from among those members of the senior class outstanding for their academic achievement. This year, that honor belongs to Michael Joseph Harding of the College of Arts and Sciences. President Nemec, members of the Board of Trustees, honored guests, members of the faculty and administration, distinguished alumni, family, friends, and of course, my fellow members of the class of 2018. Good morning to you all. It is truly an honor to stand before you on this wet but joyous occasion. Today, we have an opportunity to gather and reflect on the mature, talented, and strong women and men we have become, and to cast our eyes on the promising futures that await each and every one of us. There's a term from the Nguni Bantu people in Southern Africa that I want to share with you today. I was introduced to it by a good friend years ago, and its very essence has completely enriched my life. It's a universal truth a way of life, a philosophy that shapes world perspectives. It underpins the notion of an open and compassionate society. It's called Ubuntu. Ubuntu means I am me because of who we are. Ubuntu has taught me that while each of us is born an individual, we cannot become our best and most fulfilled selves without those around us. I can't be me without you and you without me. Ubuntu has taught me that we live our lives navigating fluid relationships with others. We are inherently connected as teammates, as classmates, as teachers and mentors, as peers, as parents, as partners in relationships, and most genuinely, as people. Our experiences, emotions, triumphs and setbacks ambitions and values are innately intertwined. Our beloved Fairfield University embodies Ubuntu, not solely as an educational institution, but as a community forged, strengthened, and sustained by the bonds of our Jesuit identity. Four years ago, as curious and eager first-year students, we sat in these very same seats on a warm September afternoon during convocation and were introduced to a compelling new way of understanding ourselves in relation to the world around us. On that day, Dr. Yehuvi Williams, my mentor and former Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, shared a powerful message. He said, water that sits becomes stagnant, but water that moves and flows, cleanses and brings life, circulates fresh ideas, even when it starts as a simple ripple. Dr. Williams challenged us to not find comfort dwelling in the frozen space of inaction and complacency, blind to our immense capacity for empathy, creativity, leadership, and personal growth. Today, I can say with absolute confidence that we have met and far surpassed this call to action. Through the long nights spent editing papers in the library, the grueling early morning fitness tests in the Walsh Athletic Center, the hours of dance rehearsals in the Oak Room or the Recplex, the countless takes and retakes on student film sets, the acts of courage and solidarity standing up against social injustice at home and abroad, through both our own individual pursuits and our collective achievements, we have built a culture of excellence on this campus. We have continued to seek our best selves both in and out of the classroom and together. We have fully embraced and embodied the Jesuit value modus, the pursuit of personal and communal growth. 
Think about this for a moment. Pam, pursuing her master's degree at Oxford University. Camille, starting a mentor program to provide resources and guidance to refugee students. Sydney, Megan, and Skyler, leading the volleyball team to a remarkable three straight conference championships. And Tyler, shattering the all-time scoring record in men's basketball history. Friends, these outstanding accomplishments are only a few examples of many, but they're a testament to who you are, to who we are. These past four years have taught me that life is a perpetual evolution, an ongoing project during which we face many challenges that push us beyond what we believed were our limits. While today is certainly a day to rejoice and look ahead, we too are gathered here to reflect on the path we've taken to get to this point. There's a statue in front of the chapel depicting two versions of the Jesuit priest, St. Ignatius Loyola, facing one another. The word examine is etched below. This statue reminds us to appreciate the power of self-reflection, to be contemplative in action. Whether it was stepping out of our comfort zones by joining a student-led club such as FUSA, Remix, or Sweet Harmony, or making the daily trip from home to play an active role in campus life as a commuter student, or navigating a new and unfamiliar life, studying abroad in a foreign land such as China, Nicaragua, or Poland, or serving communities outside of our own, as far away as Tanzania and as close to home as Bridgeport, friends, we have internalized and put into practice the mission of this great institution. We stretched our minds pursuing innovative research projects with Drs. Hold and Meisnikowski, cultivated our skills in teamwork, time management, and problem solving, working for Deloitte, Congressman Jim Himes, and the American Red Cross. We fundraised tens of thousands of dollars to support action against cancer through Really for Life. We represented the true meaning of stag spirit as tour ambassadors. And we experienced tremendous shared pride at the many successes of our championship softball, swimming and diving, men's soccer, women's lacrosse, rowing, field hockey, and volleyball teams. You, the members of the class of 2018, have personified the cornerstone of a Fairfield education. Now, before you walk up these steps and proudly grab your diploma, I want to leave you with a quote from the Greek philosopher Socrates whose words the Jesuits hold with great reverence. We, as human beings, are born for the sake of other beings, that we might be able mutually to help one another. This is our calling. This is the charge Fairfield University has prepared us to face and overcome. This is what it means to be women and men for others, to live, love, and lead through community. Take a moment to look at the person sitting to your left and to your right. Cherish them. This moment, this space, these relationships. Because when we leave this campus today, the challenges we will encounter in this life will be real. They may push us to our limits, but remember the community we hold dear has given us the strength to strive and to prosper, even in the most arduous and discouraging times. To have the courage to see failure not as inadequacy, but rather as a chance to grow and thrive. Though we will go on to craft our own individual narratives, we will always be united as brothers and sisters in this extraordinary Fairfield family. Remember, I am me because of who we are. And we are strong, gifted, and compassionate. And now, we are graduates of Fairfield University. And together, we are Ubuntu. Class of 2018, you did it. Congratulations, and may God continue to bless Fairfield University. Stags up.
the president and faculty of Fairfield University have the honor to cite the following members of the graduating class who have won special recognition by their academic achievement. The Bellarmine Medal, established to commemorate the patron of Fairfield University, St. Robert Bellarmine of the Society of Jesus, Cardinal and Doctor of the Roman Catholic Church, is awarded to the undergraduates who, throughout the entire four years of full-time study, earned the highest academic average. This year we have three awardees. The 2018 Bellarmine Medal is awarded to Joanne Brockman of the Dolan School of Business, Brenna Marie Mulhall of the College of Arts and Sciences. And Christine Lequier of the Dolan School of Business. The Alumni Association of Fairfield University selects an undergraduate student each year who has made distinguished contribution of service and has loyally represented his or her school during four years of attendance. This award is known as the Loyola Medal. The 2018 Loyola Medal is conferred upon Xavion Billups. College of Arts and Sciences. The president will now officially confer the honorary degrees on the recipients. The first citation for the Reverend James Michael Bowler of the Society of Jesus will be read by Reverend Gerald Blazcheck of the Society of Jesus, director of the Ignatian Spirituality Center. Reverend James Michael Bowler of the Society of Jesus has been part of the fabric of the Fairfield Jesuit community since 1969, when he first came to teach social studies at Fairfield College Preparatory School. After a brief period when he served as Director of Planning and Secondary Education for the New England province of the Jesuits, he returned to prep as its headmaster and how fortunate that he did. Establishing PREP's first ever Board of, of Directors and Office of Advancement, he left the school six years later on a solid footing upon which the school has been able to continue to build. Father Bowler's experience in secondary education and leadership earned him positions on the National Catholic Educational Association's Executive Committee on the board of the Connecticut Association of Independent Schools, and on the board of trustees, both of Boston College High School and Canisius High School. Since 2009, Father Bowler has also served on the board of trustees of Loyola University in New Orleans. In 1999, Father Bowler was named facilitator for Jesuit and Catholic identity and mission at Fairfield University 
a position he held until 2011, when he, de when he was appointed director of the Center of Ignatian Spirituality. In these positions, Father Bolo was responsible for defining and institutionalizing principles of Ignatian spirituality across the campus and within the larger community. Today, Father Bowler calls a thriving parish in Charlotte, North Carolina, his home, where he is involved with adult formation, sacramental ministry, and the continuation of Fordham University's formation of spiritual directors. These days, Jim is known to say, I'm doing all the things I love with no administrative responsibilities. <laughs> For his unwavering dedication to both Fairfield Prep and Fairfield University, for his leadership in secondary education, and for his commitment to perpetuating the ideals of St. Ignatius Loyola among men and women of every state of life, the President and Board of Trustees of Fairfield University hereby proclaim James Michael Bowler of the Society of Jesus, Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. The second citation for William P. Egan will be read by Dr. Audrey Beauvais, Associate Professor of Nursing. A trusted advisor and generous friend, William P. Egan, class of 1967, and a parent of a 1999 graduate has played an invaluable role in helping to shape the direction of Fairfield University over the years. He has given freely of his time and business acumen to the university as a trustee for over 18 years and has endowed numerous scholarships in English, economics, and modern languages. The Egan Chapel of St. Ignatius Loyola, the spiritual heart of campus, is named in honor of his parents, John and Miriam and the nationally ranked Mariam Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies at Fairfield bears his mother's name too. He has said that his intention is to foster the spirit of doing well as well as the spirit of giving back. Mr. Egan is proud that his economics degree from Fairfield prepared him well for his graduate studies at the Wharton School where he earned his MBA. A few years into his first job in the banking industry, he fell into the venture capital field propelled by his love of seeing small businesses grow and his belief in the power of the individual to create great things. He is the founder of the venture capital firm Burr, Egan, Deliage & Company and is the private equity firm Merriam Equity Partners, both in Massachusetts. He has backed many companies that have grown to become household names, among them FedEx, Continental Cablevision, and Cephalon. A resident of, Boston, of the Boston area for almost 50 years, Mr. Egan has always been involved with the life of the city, serving as a trustee of the prestigious Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum and the Boston-based Johnnery Foundation. He is a proud member of the ownership groups of the Boston Basketball Association's Boston Celtics and Minor League Baseball's Pawtucket Red Sox, a AAA affiliate of the Boston Red Sox. Mr. Egan exemplifies the Jesuit tradition of using one's talents, intellect, and education in service to others. For his leadership and commitment to both his alma mater and the larger community, the President and Board of Trustees of Fairfield University hereby proclaim William P. Egan, Doctor of Law, Honoris Causa. third citation for M. Sean Copeland will be read by Dr. Paul Lakeland, Aloysius P. Kelly, S.J., Chair of Catholic Studies and Professor of Religious Studies.
The President and Trustees of Fairfield University, to all who shall view these presents, greetings and peace in the Lord. Recognized as one of the most important voices in the country on issues pertaining to African American Catholics, Dr. M. Sean Copeland has the distinction of being the first African American and the first African American woman to serve as President of the Catholic Theological Society of America the major professional association of Catholic theologians in the United States and Canada. She has taught at Boston College since 2003, where she now serves as professor of systematic theology. Dr. Copeland's research interests converge around issues of theological and philosophical anthropology and political theology, as well as African and African-derived religious and cultural experience and African-American intellectual history. She has held teaching positions previously at Yale Divinity School, Marquette University, St. Norbert College, and Xavier University of New Orleans. Dr. Copeland crisscrosses the country regularly on speaking engagements and has received a number of awards, honorary degrees, and citations. She was the convener of the Black Catholic Theological Symposium from 2001 to 2005. Dr. Copeland has authored more than 125 articles and book chapters. In her most recent book, Enfleshing Freedom, Body, Race, and Being, she advances the argument that we have much to learn from the experience and oppression of black women, who over many generations have borne in their bodies the suffering inflicted by those in power. Race, embodiment, and relations of power not only reframe theological anthropology, she says, but also our notions of discipleship, church, and Christ. On a global scale, she asserts, bodies, especially poor, dark, despised bodies, are forced through the wine press and consumed by totalizing dynamics of domination. In recognition of her outstanding contributions to the intellectual life of the church, and in particular for her profound insights into the unique challenges of the African-American Catholic, the President and Board of Trustees of Fairfield University hereby proclaim M. Sean Copeland, Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. The fourth citation for Brother Guy Joseph Consolmagno of the Society of Jesus will be read by Brother Jonathan Stott of the Society of Jesus, Assistant Professor of Physics. As Director of the Vatican Observatory, Brother Guy Joseph Consolmagno has lived his professional life at the intersection of religion and science. God created the universe. This I get from my faith, he has said. But science tells me how he did it. Brother Guy's vast body of research explores the connections between meteorites, asteroids, and the evolution of small stellar system bodies. As the Pope's astronomer, he has been curator of the Vatican's extensive meteorite collection, one of the largest in the world. He spends half the year at the Vatican Observatory outside of Rome, and another six months at the University of Arizona in Tucson, where the Vatican established a research group some 30 years ago. There, the dark desert skies allow him to observe Kuiper Belt comets with the Vatican's powerful 1.8 meter telescope. Along with more than 200 scientific publications, Brother Guy has co-authored several books that infuse his love of science and astronomy with a, he with a hefty dose of humor, including Turn Left at Orion and Would You Baptize an Extraterrestrial? 
He has hosted science programs for BBC Radio, been interviewed in numerous documentary films, writes a monthly science column for the British Catholic magazine, The Tablet, and has appeared on The Colbert Report. Although Brother Guy's feet have always remained firmly on this planet, he can claim the distinction of having an asteroid, 4597 Consul Magno, named after him, an honor given to him by the International Astronomical Union in recognition of his scholarship. In 2014, he received the Carl Sagan Medal for American, for the, from the American Astronomical Society for excellence in public communication in planetary sciences. For his lifelong dedication to the study of planetary science and for showing the world that a dedicated man of faith can also be a passionate man of science, the President and Board of Trustees of Fairfield University hereby proclaim Brother Guy Joseph Consolmagno, S.J., Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce Brother Guy Joseph Consolmagno of the Society of Jesus as our 2018 commencement speaker. Thank you, Provost Siegel. Honored guests, Your Excellency, Dr. President, family and friends, parents and siblings, I greet you. And to the Fairfield University class of 2018, I congratulate you. I am honored to share this stage with you. My fellow classmates, we are all about to receive degrees from Fairfield University. Actually, I just got mine feels really good. But what is a college degree good for? A friend of mine once told me that her degree from Oxford mostly trained her to make polite conversation at cocktail parties. Cynicism aside, there's actually more truth to that statement than I think she intended. Consider my own background in the planetary sciences. Science, we're told, is the study of nature, but study is only part of the story. An essential part of doing science is reporting what we've observed when we studied. And that means, of course, having someone to whom we can report. Every scientist must be part of a community. So, you could say, Science is the conversation that goes on in the community of scientists. Only, instead of cocktail parties, we have conferences. I learned about the art of conversation by watching my parents and their friends when I was a little kid growing up in Detroit. In the heat of the summers, the auto workers, like my dad, would send their families up to the lakes. Our summer cottage was part of this community of summer cottages up on Lake Huron. That's where my friends and I really grew up, running free during the days when our dads stayed in the cities, working in the factories and the offices, and then joining their families on the weekends. Those weekends were special to us kids. I remember hiding in the dark, out of sight, while the grown-ups would sit around an outdoor fire talking about politics, sports, everything under the sun. Of course, I had an idea of what they were talking about, but Eventually, I learned to follow their topics, I learned their jargon, all the while waiting for the day when I might have something good enough to add to the conversation. The arts and the sciences all work the same way. It's a conversation that's been ongoing since Aristotle. With its own jargon, its political, uh, particular hot topics of the day, as with any conversation, if you try jumping in right away without listening first, you're not only being rude, you're likely to make a fool of yourself. Before we can join in, we have to spend time listening in to find out what topics are current, to find out what the jargon means. That's called being a student. Only gradually do we know enough that we can get to enter the conversation. And that's where you are now. 
And notice, only, you've been, only after you've been part of the conversation for a while do you have the ability and the right to introduce new topics, to shift the conversation to new directions. Even the study of nature itself is a conversation. We start by listening to what nature has to say to us. Only then can we invent experiments or theories, which is how we reply to what we've heard, trying out our ideas to see if we've heard things right, opening up new topics in nature for us to listen to. Consider the parallels between how we do science and how we pray. There are times when we come to God or nature with specific requests in mind, specific points of confusion that we hope will be cleared up. There are times when we have specific needs. But there are also times, sometimes the most important times, when we stop talking and simply sit quietly in the presence of creation and creator. We empty our minds and wills of our own expectations and fears and desires and, and simply listen. From those moments come insights and questions, the questions that lead to the new experiments or to the prayers that follow. The presence of God is palpable at those moments in the experience of peace and joy and wonder. God speaks to us in the things that have been made. St. Paul tells us that in the opening of his letter to the Romans. And sometimes God speaks directly to us. Considering, consider the opening chapter of Genesis. Now, scripture scholars tell us that Genesis was probably written during the Babylonian exile. Certainly the physical cosmology that's described in Genesis is, is that of ancient Babylon, best science of its day, with a flat earth and water above and below the dome. But though we've tossed away that cosmology, which is something actually that always happens to today's best science tomorrow, the actual message of Genesis is found exactly in those places where it stands in stark contrast to Babylon. The Babylonians believed that the universe was formed by accident out of the chaotic fights of their nature gods. And to them, the peak of creation was the city of Babylon. But, but Genesis starts with only one god and who's already there in the beginning before nature itself is created, a supernatural god. And this god creates in an orderly fashion deliberately, step by step. Every step along the way occurs at the intent and the will of the creator and every piece of creation he declares is good. You couldn't do science if you didn't believe that creation was orderly. And you wouldn't do science, or at least you wouldn't get funded to do science, unless you believed that it was indeed good. The very first step of creation is to call forth light so that nothing is done hidden in the dark. It's there for all of us to see. And the last step of creation, the ultimate step, is the Sabbath. Now, now what is the Sabbath? The Sabbath is the time set aside from ordinary necessary work to instead contemplate and appreciate the creator and his creation. But isn't that, after all, what science is? The high point of our week is the time when we have, get to stop worrying about what's for lunch and just sit back and wonder at the stars. In other words, Genesis tells us that the goal of our existence is to become astronomers. <laughs> well, I hope and I trust that each of you by now has discovered here at Fairfield your own stars, the subjects that bring you to the moment of peace and joy and wonder. That's the real purpose of an education. You will leave here soon enough and find your jobs, take your responsibilities, 
Become occupied with the worries of your daily life. They will fill six days of your week, but don't forget the Sabbath. Make time to remember the places where you can find God. And then, make time to tell your friends about that peace and joy and wonder you found. Make time to listen and appreciate their stories. Time for conversation is sacred time. And we've got a lot to talk about. Congratulations, Godspeed to you all. At this time, I would like to take the opportunity to issue a very warm welcome to the members of the class of 1968. These, <laughs> these men represent the alumni celebrating the 50th year reunion of Fairfield University. We are honored by their presence and by their lifelong commitment to Fairfield. I would like to ask the members of the class of 1968 to stand and be recognized by our graduating seniors, their guests, our faculty, and administration. Thank you. We shall now have the presentation of candidates for degrees in course by the deans of the four schools and the conferring of those agree degrees by the president of the university. Dean Richard Greenwald will present the degree candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences. Dean Greenwald. Will the candidates for all bachelor's degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences please stand? These men and women have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Bachelor of Arts and the Bachelor of Science degrees and are hereby presented to the president and trustees for the conferring of those degrees. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science on all those presented by the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Congratulations. Will the graduates please put on their hoods and come forward to receive their diplomas? Please withhold your applause until all graduates have been presented. Sabrina Adipietro. James Affinito. Gabriel Ayardo, Nadra Alhamwi, Emily Alberts, Brooke Alpert, Caitlin Amaya, Benjamin Anderson, Nicholas Anthony, Alejandra Arias, Nicole Aragones, Kai Armstrong, Ellen Arneson, Jordan Bacon, Jeffrey Barbieri, Katie Barrera, Cameron Barrett, Melissa Berry, Olivia Bettino, Carrie Bine, Caitlin Bennett, Name? Bridget Belfiore, Brendan Bernard, Zavon Billups, Natalie Bisson, Stephanie Blaze, Christian Bolt, Hunter Bosch, Sophia Bolanos, J. Garrett Brown. Larkin Brown, Sydney Buckley, 
Ashley Kambasaka, Connor Campbell, Karina Camparelli, Maria Cardoni, Ryan Carlucci, Damara Carusis, Samuel Carroll, Julia Cassio, Neil Casey, Regan Casey, Skylar Cavazos, Brianna Cerrito, Christy Chen, Kelsey Chapterling, Lauren Cicchetti, Rachel Cipriano, Ariana Suriani, Sam Civitello, Nicole Clark, Kyla Coffey, Catherine Connolly, Brenna Connolly, Jacqueline Conti, Gregory Capola, Brittany Constantini, William Cromwell, Noel Crouchley, Caroline Curtis, Kelsey Cusack, Patricia Dalton, Emily Danka, Michael Darchi, Andrew DeRosa, Ashley Dasty, Alliston Devani, Christina DiUvaldi, Haley Jargon, Owen Doherty, Ryan Doherty, Last name? Sally, Sally Darty. Patrick Donegan. Patrick Donegan. <laughs> Caitlin Doerr. <laughs> Nicholas Drennan. <laughs> Emily Driscoll. <laughs> Margaret Driscoll. <laughs> Olivia Driscoll. <laughs> Alana Dubois. <laughs> Catherine Duncan. Elise Easton, Woo! Kelly Eckert, yeah! Caitlin Emmert, yeah! Elena Ewing, yeah! Michael Fashali, yeah! Safira Fuquer, yeah! Ariana Fernandez, yeah! Alexia Ferreira, yeah! Sarah Foley, yeah! William Fox, Jael and Luz Francois, Nicholas Fraser, Casey Fuller, Adeline Marie Galang, Virginia Galanti, Brooke Gallagher, Kristen Gallo, Kristen Garofalo, Emily Gaudet, Camille Jacovas, Kaylin Godberson. Henry Gomez, Catherine Goodfellow, Jacqueline Goodrow, Stephen Grillo, Teresa Guarino, Alejandro Gutierrez, Isabella Guzzo, Catherine Hackett, Casey Hamill, Michael Harding, Jared Harper, Olivia Hayden, <laughs> Deirdre Hennigan, Andre Holloway, Julia Huber, Cecilia Dottori Huete Basilaire, <laughs> Mohamed Javar, Dominique Jackson, Jessica Jalbert, Killian Jean Pierre, Erica Jensen, Emily Jones, Peter Jones. What happened? <laughs> Jenna Yonke. Eric 
Erica Jowdy, Christian Kavis, Alexa Kupasinski, Pamela Kask, Mariah Kasparek, Claire Keating, Molly Kennedy, Bridget Kenny, Timothy Kleps, Rachel Klink, Alexei Korobo, Kelly Cortez, Gabrielle Corwin, Alexandra Kosmides, Carly Kuligowski, Amy Rose Kwasnaza, Lisa Langeli, Shannon Lavin, Tracy LeBeau, Rebecca Ligi, Aileen Lindenthal, Marina Lindlin, Jesse Lizotte, Allison Lovely, Maria Lupino, Margaret Lyons, Victoria Madden, F. Fitzgerald Maloney, Victoria Merrick, Taylor Marin, Amanda Marone, Molly Martin, Corrine Martin, Lauren Martinelli, Vict Victoria Matei, Carolyn Meyer, Carly Mazuko, Elizabeth McCarthy, Caroline McDermott, Peter McDonald, Beth McDonough, Haley McGregor, Robert McGrew, Sarah McHale, Kristen McLaughlin, Taylor Mealy, Jamie Melville, Natividad Mendoza, Caroline Metcafera, Viviana Michike, Bridget Miles, Aaron Miller, Nicholas Miller, Anna Milliken, Marisa Molea, Marsha Mamparus, Aaron Monahan, Samantha Moore, Kaylee Moran, Kylie Moore, Harrison Morris, Brianne Mulder, Brenna Mulhall, James Mulhall, Allison Murphy, Catherine Murphy, Taylor Murphy, Julia Murray, Melissa Murray, Hannah Nagel, Michaela Norfleet, Julianne O'Connell, Kevin O'Connell, Kevin O'Connor, Abigail O'Malley, William Oakes, Jocelyn Ardone Chaguay, Jacqueline Orlandi, Haley Petzold, Julia Parslow, Madeline Peterson, Asha Perry, Kelsey Persichini, Lauren Peterson, Emily Petrie, Thomas Petrosky, Olivia Philbrook, Aliyah Phipps, Carolina Pichota, Kelly Power, Ariana Puzo, Samantha Quinones, Zachary Quinones, Francesca Racanali, Olivia Racanelli, Vianne Rowan Duzzi, Shaquana Raynor, Jillian Ray, Alexander Reed, Madeline Reardon, Sari Reed, Madison Rich, Katherine Robinson, Maxwell Ronbeck, 
Aaron Rowland, Elizabeth Russell, Megan Russo, Courtney Ryan, Taylor Saccoccio, Claudia Safavi, Juliana Sansonetti, Teresa Scampato, Kelly Schlegel, Andrew Schmidt, Jerome Segura, Kelly Sheridan, Kelsey Shockey, Hunter Sigona, John Simon, Joshua Singleton, Hayden Smith, Margaret Smith, Thomas Sokol, Samantha Soto, Quiva Stafford, Alexi Stathakis, Lauren Steele, Molly Strang, Sarah Stuhlman, Shauna Sweeney, Christina Tangridi, Caitlin Tatuli, Elizabeth Tessera, Alexandra Tabo, Caroline Thomas, Brianna Thompson, Katie Thompson, Madeline Tommins, Alfredo Torres, Karen Towie, Troy Trauger, Megan Tooley, Clea Tzaka, Lauren Eurico, Scarlett Vacajara, Gabriella Verdone, Catherine Veshi, Thomas Viscosil, Madeline Wantuck, Daniel Ward, Maeve Ward, Billy Watson, Emily Wybe, Sierra Weiner, Allison White, Rosemary White, Benjamin Wignall, Carly Williams, Michelle Wilson, Rebecca Wise, Molly Wright, Nicole Roblewski, McKenna Waisaki, Haley Young, Rachel Zanfordino, Isabella Ziola, Brendan Zimmerman. Congratulations to all. We have a, Christine. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Aura Rivera. <laughs> Armin Belidemai. Anthony Barbati. William Begg. Megan Benson, Emily Barubi, Jessica Boucher, Catherine Brady, Michael Caldwell, Alyssa Cameron, Devin Cargnell, Rachel Clowitz, Lyra Centron Rivera, Christine Calasaco, Samantha Cooper, Haley Crision, Faith Daly, Claire Davin, Kimberly Del Bianco, Michael DeLucy, Sabrina DiMatteo, McKenna DeGiulio, Lydia Dupree, Robert Farrell, Jacqueline Ferreri, William Fox, Sally Franz, Alexander Gato, Daniel Gatskaska, Madeline Gatsunas, Kylie Gilroy, Nicole Granert, Maria Hania, 
John Hershauer, Sean Holbert, John Herbel, Aaron Joyce, Philip Karras, Kelsey Kearns, Kathleen Kelly, Michael Lanza, Christina Lee, Nicole Lacurto, Jessica Lowney, Catherine Lynch, Maria Mariana Mangini, Rachel Mangioni, Kinsey McCormick, Angelina McGuire, Stacy Mendez, Zach Mueller, John Nickus, Marissa O'Donnell, Samantha Palazzo, Sabrina Palmieri, Kendall Pieri, Kristen Pollock, Madeline Robb, Amanda Rich Fiondella, Brandon Rocco, Caroline Razzillo, Donna Saad, Joseph Sarney, Jennifer Schwartz, Rachel Sieber, Julia Smith, Mary Smythe, Kaylin Stevens, Kristen Sullivan, Megan Thyler, Michael Valvala, Michaela Venditti, Gabriella Vida, Julia Viscosil, Emma Waters, Mitchell Williams, Carolyn Young, Megan Zimmer. Congratulations to everyone. Dean Meredith Kayser will present the degree candidates from the Miriam Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies. Dean Kayser. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in nursing from the Miriam Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies please stand? These men and women have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Bachelor of Science degree and are hereby presented to the President and Trustees for the conferring of those degrees. By the virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing on all those presented by the Dean of the Marion Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies. Congratulations. Will the graduates please put on their hoods and come forward to receive their diplomas. Please withhold your applause until all graduates have been presented. Alyssa Abbott. Nicole Alfonsi. Elizabeth Allen. Colleen Almeida. Caitlin Arnold. Gabrielle Ayers. Angela Banovic. Emily Barr. Kathleen Barter, Elena Barubi, Catherine Berkmeyer, Molly Bloom, Samantha Bongo, Hannah Brazer, Brittany Bunshu, Nolan Campbell, Catherine Caraglia, Christina Chaffee, Adrian Cerati, Elizabeth Connolly, Elise Corisanti, Courtney Curry, Hope Dennison, Samantha Damasio, Jacqueline Dieso, Catherine Dowling, Jamie Downs, Kaylee Dwyer, Grace Farrow, Margaret Fontaine, Renee Fontaine, Olivia Foy, 
Alexa Farda Kanjuli, Annalie Gallo, Cheyenne Garcia, Jillian Gelmedi, Maureen Gertkes, Caitlin Gian Gregorio, Kara Gibbons, Megan Ginley, Paige Hamilton, Elizabeth Harris Jones, Elizabeth Harwood, Emily Hiltonen, Nora Jones, Lily Kim, Brianna Klankel, Victoria Chriswick, Kylie Kyle Lally, Patricia Leva, Margaret Lilly, Monica Lindenmeyer, Jessica Ling, Julia Longo, Paige Lopez, Caitlin Lynch, Marissa Marticantonio, Sarah Catherine Mascoli, Christine McCabe, Maggie McHale, Elizabeth Milbauer, Lauren Mixon, Emily Moore, Heidi Ann Morgan, Carolyn Neubauer, Catherine Newman, Megan Ostensby, Haley Packard, Sarah Pock, Barbara Picor, Alexandra Poirier, Ryan Pomerico, Rebecca Quillard, Alexandra Raydell, Jessica Ramos, Elizabeth Ritalik, Monica Rhine, Colleen Riley, Leslie Rivera, Cassandra Rodriguez, Zarin Sutar, Jessica Satchett, Nicole Silvestri, Joseph Serna, Brooke Stample, Olivia Stewart, Brendan Sweeney, Kristen Zabo, Lindsay Tapke, Shannon Toomey, Brooke Upton, Elizabeth Van Flandern, Joy Lynn Van Pala. Congratulations to all. Dean Mark Liggis will present the degree candidates from the Dolan School of Business. Dean Liggis. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree from the Dolan School of Business please stand? <laughs> Right. These men and women have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Bachelor of Science degree and are hereby presented to the President and Trustees for the conferring of those degrees. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the degree of Bachelor of Science on all those presented by the Dean of the Dolan School of Business. Congratulations. Will the graduates please put on their hoods and come forward to receive their diplomas. Please withhold your applause until all graduates have been presented. Ariella Acevedo. Congratulations. Dunya Akund. Kelly Allen. Tia Amovil. Joshua Amoro. Grant Amrine. Josh Amrine, Rachel Anderson, Dylan Appel, Jamie Appleberg, Nashelli Aquino, Drew Archiolo, Jonathan Ardito, Nicholas Arduino, Jennifer Arias, Julio Arnau, Maxwell Ashline, Victoria Asmus, Eric Austin, Bryce Avula, Amber Bagdonas, Michael Bacos, Corinne Baliga, 
Kristen Ball, Colin Bannon, John Barrasso, Aaron Bauman, Sean Bernard, Giuseppe Bio, Emily Bittner, Alec Black, Drew Blake, Stephen Borsia, Alana Bolas, Kevin Bolmarsic, Alexander Bunn, Lindsay Bosland, Jamie Boritis, Connor Bazo, John Brockman, Matthew Breen, Caitlin Bryce, Gerard Brogan, Alexander Bruno, Matthew Bruno, Aaron Buckley, Andrew Burke, Kelsey Burke, Nicole Bissutil, Liam Cahill, Matthew Kane, Michael Keola, Charles Callahan, Brendan Callan, Julio Candia, Olivia Canestrari, Leonardo Canino, Samantha Carey, Alan Carnera, Brian Carter, Daniel Cardolan, Emily Cavazzutti, Courtney Sarasolo, Michael Serpa, Christina Chan, Deborah Chevalier, Giuseppe Chiara, Michael Chiara, Tanner Childs, Andrew Ciaccia, Adrienne Sacconi, Lauren Clark, Deandra Clark, Carrie Clark, Catherine Klein, Christina Carci, Clayton Coffey, Alan Colombi, Alexandra Como, Kevin Coppinger, Domenico Coppola, Mary Correal, Kieran Cottrell, Caitlin Coughlin, Megan Coveney, Anthony Crasto, Trevor Crawford, Chase Crean, Danielle Cristiano, Chloe Cummings, Paul Cuniff, Amanda Daniel, John Daniels, Liam Duras, Ian Diali, Hilary de la Guila Ortiz, Joseph Delasho, Ashley De Luca, Daniel De Lucia, Andrew DeMarco, Lindsay De Muno, Catherine De Pino, Marcus De Suto, Steven, Steven Dirks, Heather De Lorenzo, Megan Dubensky, Colleen Donahue, Evan Donahue, Sarah Donnelly, Kaylee Doyle, Nicholas Doval, Chloe Drescher, Megan Eckert, Emily Eichhorn, Silvana Alesi, Adir Elhel, Salvatore Esposito, Carolyn Fagan, Timothy Fa Carolyn Fagan, <laughs> Timothy Fallon, Liam Fuma, Wade Fan, Emma Farina, Gianni Ferrara, Caitlin Ferrarese, Sarah Fiedler, Catherine Fitzpatrick, Courtney Flagg, Matthew Eldridge, Christopher Flynn, Colleen Flynn, Catherine Fogarty, Sidney Foltis, Sophia Fontaine, Peter Forsberg, Christopher Franca Bandera, Robert Fredette, Thomas Fusco, Jacqueline Gallagher, John Gallagher, Meredith Garcia, Miguel Alfonso Garcia, 
Spencer Garland, Carlos Gavilano, Colin Gaynor, Matthew Geiger, Christopher Gerver, Jonathan Garamani, Samantha Gianetti, Daniel Giberna, Joseph Gigante, Thomas Gillette, Ryan Golden, Shanaer Gomali, Courtney Gorman, Victoria Gracie, Victoria Grady, Maxwell Grafton, Nicholas Greco, Colleen Green, Robert Grun, Carolyn Haberly, Molly Hare, Sarah Hallahan, George Halvatis, Catherine Harrison, Eleanor Hartman, Adam Hastings, Abigail Hayes, Colin Hayes, Patrick Heeks, Juliana Hoffman, Macy Hollinshead, Kelly Holt, Charles Horning, Brendan Hunt, Anthony Imbo, Joseph Imbriani, Molly Isberg, Danielle Izzo, Lauren Jehemchik, Kaylee Jackson, Paul Jamalowitz, Matthew Gillette, Jade Joano, Timothy Johnston, Brendan Joyce, David Kaczynski, Carrie Ann Keenan, Zachary Kelly, Mary Rose Kelly, Sarah Kira Kenny, Gabrielle Kerens, Andrew Killian, Adriana Killip, Giovanni Klein, Andrew Knowles, David Kobus, Mickey Kozak, Kristen Kraus, Danielle Krasansky, Jessica Kubek, Kelly Kuplik, John Cuppens, Arthur Kwaskiewicz, Joseph Lamontan, John Lamour, Brian Landry, Osman Lara, Sean Larson, Patrick Lawler, Linda Lee, Kristen Lequeer, Daniel Lehman, Luke Lemieux, Angelica Leventhal, Justin Liberta, <coughs> Kevin Linegar, Derek Lowe, Leonardo Lofredo, Amanda Lopez, Jamie Lopez, Enzo Lucarelli, Peter Luglio, Alexa Lukowski, William Lyons, Anthony Mackey, Mariana Mangini, Matthew Manley, Victoria Marano, Andrew Marrero, Brian Mason, Taylor Matto, Riley Maud, Ariana May, Christopher McCool, James McDermott, Regan McDuffie, Henry McGreen, Elizabeth McGurn, Jonathan McMahon, John McManus, Molly McNamee, Grace McNulty, Catherine McPherson, Vanessa Medrano, Clark Mimmel, Sean Melnick. Elena Mignon, Shane Miller, Michael Minacosi, Thomas Mitch, Michael Malahan, Joaquin Morais, Madison Muscatello, Rebecca Moses, 
Jacqueline Motschweller, Reme, Mauricio Munoz, Maggie Murphy, Andrew Murray, Anea Musaka, Tyler Nelson, Luke Nugin, Magdalena Nicolaitis, Antonio Nogalo, Spencer Noonan, Joseph Nunzatea, Michael Nunzatea, Nicholas Nictus, Jamie O'Brien, Nev O'Gorman, Diana Olivo Javier, Sheila Olney, John Packham, Destiny Palato, Saverio Palumbo, Christy Parmenter, Andrew Paro, Andrew Patterson, Haley Patterson, Andrea Peach, Jessica Pena, Melanie Perez, Austin Perlstein, Danielle Perpalage, Riley Peters, Luke Petinati, Jenna Pike, Joseph Pisano, Eileen Plain, Emily Polanco, Anthony Pope, Erica Posamato, Joseph Potente, Gabriela Prenito, Brendan Pratt, Felicia Prignano, Madeline Prior Hull, John Pruitt, Joseph Pruting, Samuel Poole, John Pura, William Quentin, Aiden Quinn, Kevin Radzowitz, Matthew Ragone, Christopher Raymond, Charlie Reed, Hector Reyes Perez, Alexia Rhodes, Samuel Rice, Keely Real, Luke Rizzo, John Robinson, Matthew Robinson, Ashley Robeson, John Rodino, Joseph Rodriguez, Carl Rohn, Morgan Roseman, Olivia Russell, Brandon Russo, John Ryan, David Sacco, Talin Sagarian, Nicholas Salioka, Madeline Sandy, Matthew Sargent, Elizabeth Savides, George Serafe, Rachel Scarlett, Megan Schoenholtz, Dominique Sipi, Patrick Shea, Trevor Shelley, Thomas Shields, Philip Seibert, Christina Slayton, Robert Slate, Elizabeth Slyfield, Jay Blair Smith, Madison Snow, Dreit Saint Drew Saint Germain, Julia Saint Germain, Bridget Stackpole. Sergio Steele, Kendall Stopa, Jessica Suarez, Kelly Sullivan, Carolyn Surdevel, Michael Semenye, Anthony Shimonik, Aubrey Tobacco, Anmal Tabassum, Jeremy Taramelli, Luke Tosic, Gregory Churchian, Greg. 
Marissa Tedeschi. Colin Tenney. Patrick Temperio. Lucas Tinkum. Sadie Tovey. Maria Tracy. Emilio Trentini. Joseph Tricorico. Tara Trigonis. Vanessa Sionis Augustino. Jonathan Uwe. Stephen Valenti. Christina Vallas. Robert Vallas. Sarah Vellis. John Vengali. Robert Verna. Alyssa Vicari. Nicholas Vigliano. Dulce Villanueva Espinosa. Michael Vinci. Claudia Volk. Emma Volbrock. Mara Wandling. Jameson Wellman. Amy White. Joseph White. Grant Williams. Heman Williams. Monica Wilson. Maureen Wolf. Stephanie Yadre. Ad Adriatic Zerka. Thomas Zelinski. Kaylee Zipkin. Congratulations to all. Dean Bruce Berdanier will present the degree candidates for the School of Engineering. Dean Berdanier. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree from the School of Engineering please stand? These men and women have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Bachelor of Science degree and are hereby presented to the President and the trustees for the conferring of those degrees. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the Bachelor of Science in Engineering on those presented by the Dean of the School of Engineering. Congratulations. Will the degree recipients please put on their hoods and come forward to receive their diplomas. Please withhold your applause until all graduates have been presented. Christian. Adam Zach, Jack Aldisario, Philip Amaranti, Ethan Amon, John Anastasio, Fernando Arabia, Mary Gina Barionet, Evangelus Buleankis, Gina Marie Kayafa. Lauren Calderoni, Nicholas Caratelli, Jack Crowley, John Crowley, Jerome Davis, Nicholas DeBios, Jeff DeGene, John Delaney, Caitlin Donahue, Jennifer Egan, Jordan Emsley, Justine Ferrara, Ryan Ferrara, Christina Ficaro, Ryan Fishbaugh, John Foley, Stephen Gaius, Joseph Graham, Catherine Higgins, Peter Julian, Christopher Kelly, Nolan Kislaskis, Sam Klippel, John Knight, Sarah Kurtz, Nicole Quasnaza,
Casper Laska. Matthew Lee. Luis Lopez. Joseph Miney. Matthew Mark. Ryan McGovern. Carrie McHugh. Jonathan Menz. Milgian Moreno Biatoro. Thomas Moroski. Samuel Nguyen. Sarah Nero. Bradley Nordstrom. Lauren O'Malley. John O'Neill III. Nicholas Panera. Joseph Powlin. Matthew Richardson. Crystal Salazar. Jack Santoro. Kimberly Sav Savikas. Karen Simmons. Panal Sony. Andrew Stewart. Joseph Taggart. Antonio Teo. Brandon Thomas. Carlos Urena. Brian Walsh. Emily Yale. Congratulations to all. At this point in the ceremony, I would ask that all of our new graduates please rise and acknowledge with applause your appreciation for your faculty as teachers, advisors, and mentors. Thank you, you can take your seats. It is now my pleasure to introduce Reverend Thomas Fitzpatrick of the Society of Jesus, spiritual director here at Fairfield University to read his prayer poem dedicated to the class of 2018. God's Prayer. Dear 2018ers of Fairfield University, I, your God, speak. You are poised to so spring outward into a new, uncertain, frightening world. In your life at Fairfield University, I have been meeting you accompanying you all along the way. I met you the day you arrived, wondering if anyone would like you. I met you after that exam you thought you failed. I met you on that Saturday night or nights when you drank too much. I met you in those moments you knew beauty, the beauty of grass and leaves, the beauty of Bellum and Pond, the beauty of the beach, the beauty of a friend at lunch in Barone. I met you in all your anxieties, smaller and larger, Anxieties about whether to change your major. Anxieties about getting a job. Anxieties about the very meaning of life. I have been with you. In the dying embers of the second millennium, I first ever met you in your mother's womb. I have been with you these past four years in the womb of Fairfield University. You are now being pushed and pulled into new life. You may ask, 
Will I be liked? Will I find joy? Will I find friends? Beloved 2018ers, I am not going to give up on you now. Spring out, break out, burst out. I am with you. Amen. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Mark Arnemek, President of Fairfield University, to offer remarks. Dr. Nemec. Thank you, Dr. Siegel. To the now graduates of Fairfield's class of 2018, congratulations. As these last few remarks, Father Scalise's benediction and the alma mater are all that stand between you and your well-earned alumni status, I will be brief. I would be remiss, however, if I did not use this occasion to share a few thoughts, a few sentiments to carry you on your way. First, thank you. To each and every one of you, my most heartfelt and personal thanks. Having arrived on campus as Fairfield's ninth president while you were already well ensconced as rising seniors, I am so grateful for the welcome we found initially, so appreciative of the support our family received during our challenging move-in weekend, and so proud to call the class of 2018 our own. Second, be sure to savor and embrace this moment. But also, recognize and honor the wonderful legacy within which you are enmeshed. We are blessed to be part of an almost 500-year Ignatian tradition. Ignatius called us to be contemplatives in action. The next phase of your journey heightens this call. You, you are the instantiation of Fairfield's commitment to educate men and women for others in pursuit of social justice and productive citizenship. Your education is ever more important. Which leads me to my final point. Never forget the world needs what you do. Fairfield is blessed to have an approach, nay, I say a commitment to value-based, student-centric, outcomes-focused education. An approach which calls us to be the model of a modern Jesuit Catholic university to be a model of modern excellence. For you, our graduates, I would suggest this commitment to modern excellence as three things of you. First, you commit to never stop learning. You may never go back to school, but the capacities you have developed here will continue to grow, dare I say flourish, as you follow your calling. Second, you commit to develop your mind, your body, and your spirit. Cura personalis, care for the whole person, means one never lose sight of their formation, of their complete humanity. And lastly, you commit to engage in an ever broader conversation, and even, as Brother Consolmano advocated, occasionally shift the topic. Embracing the wider world as a partner in both our thoughts and our deeds is what civic and global engagement is truly all about. Members of the class of 2018, you are now and forever truly stags. May God bless you all and congratulations.
please rise. The Reverend Mark Scalise of the Society of Jesus, Director of Campus Ministry, will pronounce the benediction. Let us pray. Loving God, as we gather on this beautiful, sunny day to celebrate the academic achievement and character development of Fairfield University's class of 2018, we do so with great gratitude. We ask your blessings on our new graduates as we send them forth into the world. Continue to guide their minds and hearts that they might actualize the full potential you have placed within each of them and willingly place all their gifts and talents at the service of humankind. We thank you for the gift of reason, which allows our graduates to respond to your offer of love and life. Bless their professors and mentors, who have so graciously shared with them the scholarship and wisdom you have so generously and selflessly helped mold their minds and hearts while here at Fairfield. Bless the parents of our graduates, their first and finest teachers. We give you thanks for the families who have encouraged and sacrificed so much on their behalf. Bless their classmates and friends who have helped them overcome obstacles and reached heights that alone they would not have achieved. Gracious God, may the blessings of this day, recognition, affirmation, and celebration inspire all our graduates with the courage to go forth, strengthened in their resolve to elevate our common humanity, and renewed in their commitment to cultivate compassion and justice in their lives, their communities, and our world. Loving God, you have begun this good work in each of our graduates. We pray that you carry it through to completion. We make this prayer in your holy name. Amen. To bring our commencement to a close, please remain standing for the singing of the Fairfield University alma mater by members of the University Glee Club under the direction of Carol Ann Maxwell Conductor, accompanied by Beth Palmer and the Brass Salad Quintet. <laughs>
Will our guests please remain in their seats until those on the stage and the graduates have recessed. The 68th commencement exercises of Fairfield University are now officially concluded.